Alright, what's up guys? So I'm going to do a quick little video over the Mega Squirt Do-It-Yourself kit from uh, Do-It-Yourself Auto-Tune, I believe it was. I spent $363 on this kit. Um, that's better than spending the $800 on the plug and play kit, but it is a lot of work. So basically everything except for this like chip right here, I had to solder together and I pretty much just finished it. And I'm not sure if it's going to work, so we're about to see. So as far as the Miata goes, um, the Mega Squirt can be used for a lot of different cars, but to make it work for the Miata, you have to modify a lot of it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that, and I'm learning as I go. So yeah, um, there's a lot of great websites you can use, and I'll put all the links in the description. Alright, so on Do It Yourself Autotune, you have the option of either buying a complete harness, or you can just make your own. So this, uh, I opted for the cheaper version because I'm trying to keep this build as cheap as possible. So I spent about $15 for the wiring harness kit and uh, you have to wire the whole thing together. If you want to buy the completed version, it's only 50 bucks. Um, it's probably a lot easier than doing this crap. So the worst part about it is you somehow have to plug the Mega Squirt into your uh, Miata harness. So what I did is um, I cut out an ECU connector from a Miata ECU and luckily I had one laying around because if you guys remember from like 10 video, I don't know, it was a long time ago but basically my, this ECU right here that was the ECU that came with my car, it crapped out so I just cut this connector out of there and uh, basically this connects in there and then these wires will run into the back of this and then this plugs into the harness so if I ever want to go back and put in the stock ECU, I'll be able to. Now I just uh, finished doing the insulators for the uh, transistors, which I did completely wrong. They're supposed to be laying down right here. So for starters, I just hooked up the uh, power cables, the positive on the ground. So I'm going to plug that in and uh, see if the board lights up. Because another problem is these two transistors right here, this one and that one. They're, uh, they would seem to be shorted, so I don't know if this is supposed to be designed like that or what. But I might have messed up right there, so we're going to see. And uh, another weird thing with the Mega Squirt, at least for the Miata, there's a lot of things you don't have to install, which I installed. Because if I actually follow the steps right, where is it, right here, then it would have been easier. But I chose not to follow these instructions because they're extremely, extremely long. As you can see, whenever you get the kit, it comes with all these bags of components. And basically, it tells you what the component is. Like, these are resistors, 2.2Ks, 1 4th watt. And uh, it tells you where it goes, too. So, I already installed them, obviously, but it says R5 and R8. So, you would go find on the board R5 and R8. And I can't really find that right now because they're already installed. But you would just find the spot for it and then solder it in. That's what I got going so far, and I'm uh, about to turn it on and see if it leaks, at least uh, powers up. Alright guys, so I got the harness partially made about halfway there so um yeah this is like i said the connector i took out of my old ecu because i have two of them one's in the car and one's broken so just showing right there yeah so um the harness you get from do it yourself auto tune will not like you don't um the harness you get from do it yourself auto tune has a lot of wires and you won't have to use all of them so you basically wire that from there to this connector and yeah, that's about it. So you just follow these pictures right there. And then a uh, important thing to know is like, here, let me show you guys. All right, so this helped me a lot. All right, so this picture right here, whenever you're looking at it, you want to compare it like this. Like looking at the back end of it. That's how you want to look at it. All right, guys, so I got the jumpers installed. That's also in the instructions. I'll post that in the link. You have to do this for the Miata. And um, 
I finished the harness and I also broke the freaking uh, I don't know what you call it there's a chip that plugs in right here I think it's it's basically like the main processor and it has about 40 legs and I was trying to take it off and I broke three of the legs so I have to go in there and repair it tomorrow I'm just gonna have to buy new pins for it so that's coming next so yeah guys part two coming soon so um, part two we'll be plugging it in and getting it all tuned up so yeah thanks for watching